We're here at uh, Yarra Glen uh, on one of Vic Road's arterial roads undertaking some stabilisation work today. We're undertaking what's called in situ stabilisation. It's a process where we mill or profile the, uh, the road base, put in a, an additive, whether it be a, uh, a polymer binder as we've used here today, Polycom, or a cement or lime product. This will uh, reinforce the failed patch and then we put, put a, uh, an emulsion seal over the top of it. What we've done here is a, a demonstration for, for Vic Roads and some uh, visiting shires, a comparison between uh, two patches. One we've done, we've used a, a polymer binder or polycom product, and the other one we've done a, a cement binder or implement, implemented cement in the in situ stabilisation. Both of these uh, give the same effect, but it's a good comparison between the, the two products. The final result is a, a finished patch ready for, uh, for traffic. The works we're undertaking here today are uh, on an ad hoc basis, so where we, we find a failure or where we're invited to, to uh, repair a failure could be anywhere in the state. In this particular case we're at, uh, in Yarra Glen working for Vic Roads, but we could be working for shires or municipalities anywhere in the state. In situ stabilisation uh, by its very nature has meant that we've had to develop purpose-built vehicles and, and trucks for the application. For the last seven years we've been in operation in this field, we've built two twin steer trucks with our partners Flocon to develop a, uh, a unique application method. In situ stabilisation is exactly that, we are on the ground and actually mixing the, uh, the products that we find. This means we're not importing material or exporting material. The result is that it's a far more sustainable method of, of uh, road repair. It doesn't mean that we're bringing in asphalt or large quantities of asphalt. We're certainly not passing uh, trucks from one side of the state to the other. The cost to the community is significantly reduced. To do a patch like this using asphalt would be three times the current cost uh, than doing an in-situ stabilised patch as we've done here today.